What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. Riot's definitely talked a lot in the past about how they do occasionally take suggestions from the community about future skins, you know, Pool Party Zigs and Astronautilus are two pretty popular examples of stuff that actually started as a community concept. Now, so far it hasn't entirely been confirmed that a community member inspired a champion design, but that definitely hasn't stopped the awesome and super creative artists in the League of Legends community putting their skills together putting their skills to the test and coming up with their own awesome creations. And there's a lot of these really awesome champion concepts out there. So today we wanted to take a look and share with you guys some of my personal favorite designs that I think would be super awesome if they made it into the game into the future. And as well, this video is going to be proudly sponsored by LOL Sumo, which is a free app for both iOS and Android. And I've been tinkering around with the app for the past few months now, and it's been pretty useful for me. It's the best thing that I've found for getting some seriously detailed stats that are tailored to your own individual play and your match history. They also help out with a ton of stuff in game, which you can access in real time instantly once you're loading in, like they'll give you some really solid item builds that are based around your opponent's team composition, as well as just some general tips and tricks with some coaching based on your actual in-game matchups. And if you have a favorite pro player, you can also follow them to see what's going on with their games and get a similar lineup of stats about their individual play too. And they also have a pro version, which I personally have been using for quite some time now. If you want to pump everything up to 11, get some more advanced analysis, statistics, and game-specific matchup tricks, and they're always adding more features all the time. But again, it is free to install and use, so you don't have to take it from me. You can just check it out at the link in the description below and decide for yourself if you like it or not. And without further ado, let's jump right back into the video. So our first fan champion concept for the day goes by the name of Sheik, the tyrant of the dunes. Riot are all about hitting new archetypes when they release newer champions, and Sheik is one that definitely fits that category. A Jin or a genie is a character that Riot hasn't really explored yet. Sheik has magically conjured clothing and weapons, and being a Jin and the tyrant of the dunes definitely implies that she's probably meant to be from the Shurima region and probably be somewhat evil as well. The thing about this concept that really stands out to me is this trailing flaming hair that she's got going on. It just looks super awesome and probably might not have been doable for Riot back in the days before they developed Aurelian Soul, but now that they have that new floating animation technology, they could definitely pull something like this off. Sheik's colors make her stand out quite a lot and there's nothing really like her so far in League of Legends, so she'd definitely turn heads and would not get confused for other champions, which is definitely a good thing overall since Riot does happen to be obsessed with clarity. As far as the actual gameplay goes, the creator, Simon Dubuck, only made the concept art, didn't actually explore the gameplay for this concept, but the levitation and magical blades would probably put her in the camp of being some kind of mobile DPS or maybe an assassin. She's got quite a slim physique, so Riot definitely wouldn't let a character like this one be a tank, so Sheik would honestly probably be closer to an assassin or maybe something like a diver like Vi. Simon also included some other concepts of what she could potentially look like, which shows that gender isn't necessarily an important part of the design actually. It's more about creating a kind of malicious spirit with a preference for slicing people up rather than relying on magic, although as a flying djinn, there would probably have to be at least a little bit of magic involved to fit the theme properly. He explored a lot of different conjured weapons, a bunch of visuals for Sheik, some really cool stuff. You know, one of the standout ones almost looks like a goddess that kind of creates hands with these sharp claws flowing out of her hair. It doesn't necessarily have color, so we can't really tell if it's meant to be hair or more of like the trailing fire, kind of like the colored concept has. But either way, it's super interesting to look at and would be crazy fun to see in the game. Our next concept is actually created by the exact same person, another one by Simon Dubuck. Turns out this guy is just full of awesome stuff. And this concept is known as Soji, the Ageless Hermit, who's meant to be kind of like an immortal monk champion riding his mount, Garn. The Immortal Hermit Monk Champion initially started off as a weird, ancient shapeshifter sort of, before moving towards something more of like a wandering monk, wearing what looks like a turtle shell with its own little ecosystem on the back. Kind of like the Wandering Isle from World of Warcraft almost. Simon decided to take his monk in a different direction, giving him a mount that came in a few different types, from turtles to lizards, even a crab at one point. Soji and Garn went through quite a few different iterations and styles, but the most consistent thing between them is that Soji kind of represents this Buddha sort of character almost. 
The version Simon decided to flesh out fully was the monk with some kind of floating orb of energy around his head which acts almost like the epicenter for his abilities. The visual effects are all super slick and it shows that Soji would be focused on area of effect abilities that visually look kind of like Nasus's spirit fire almost. It's likely that Soji would probably either be a mage or a support character, but given his rather bulky size, he could work as maybe sort of like a tanky or maybe someone like a Galio, like a mage tank almost. Soji is also shown to have some kind of power over nature given that he can cause growth out of the terrain, although there's not really any details about the abilities, so we don't really know what would separate this from someone like Zyra. Either way though, the design and the detail behind this concept is just friggin' awesome. It'd be seriously cool to see both Soji and Sheik both fleshed out to properly show how they might work in the game. And Simon actually has quite a few more concepts than just those two, and we're gonna be linking the original artists all in the description, so definitely check out and show your support to the original artists. Those guys are awesome. Our next fan champion concept is a collaboration by two guys that go by the name of Winnie Pooh and Runesail. And it's actually fully fleshed out with gameplay as well as artwork and lore, so it's really just the entire package. And this champion is a character that you guys probably know, it's Senna, the Lantern's Light, or as you guys probably know her, Lucian's wife. So the summary of the lore behind Senna as a champion was that she was altered by her time spent inside Thresh's lantern, and he offered her freedom in return for her servitude. She gained ethereal powers, but, well, she's lost her mind and has absolutely no memory of her time with Lucian. Her design's really interesting, you know, it's pretty minimalistic, but that actually makes it very distinct. She doesn't really look like anything else in the game so far. She wears a white dress and has powers that look like a mix between Thresh's souls and maybe Karma's abilities. Her passive is called Lantern's Light, which would give wards a 20% increased vision radius, and it also causes enemies hit by her abilities to light up and are revealed for 2 seconds each, which firmly puts her in the support camp, and the rest of her abilities suit the role too. Her Q is Spectral Infuse, which is a channeled damage over time effect to a targeted area, and if anyone is still in the area after it ends, they are feared and have their tenacity reduced. And with this Q, Senna can actually interrupt the channel to get the fear instantly, but the damage is stopped and the duration gets shortened, kinda like a Nunu ultimate almost. Senna's W is Soul Bond, which passively collects the soul energy of fallen units, giving her stacks just like Thresh. Every stack gives her buffs to all of her abilities, but casting abilities will also drain some of the stacks. Activating Soul Bond will connect an allied champion's soul to an enemy, giving them spell vamp and lifesteal against the enemy that they're connected to, which is potentially a really awesome way to swing a trade in your AD carry's favor. Her E is Spectral Image, which is almost like a trippy LeBlanc W kind of. She creates a ghostly copy of an allied champion, which they can then right click on in order to teleport back to it. It's got a really short range, but it could be used to potentially let an ally engage, maybe jump back to safety afterwards, since the ghost is created where they started, kind of just like LeBlanc's distortion pad. Her proposed ultimate is Lantern's Blessing, which turns her into light and dashes her to an allied champion, shielding them for 6 seconds and making her untargetable for the duration. And after the shield ends, Senna will still be near that champion ready to lend her support and also slowing all enemies that are nearby. It's actually a pretty well thought out kit that really fits the theme of like another soul based champion and works quite well thematically. And the concept was really well received and it actually got a comment from Ride Scruffy who thought that negative tenacity was a really interesting piece of design that Ride's actually never used before but maybe they will in the future after checking out this design. The next champion goes by the name of Narak by Yang Chan Li, and it's mostly concept art but also with a little bit of a summary for how his gameplay might work. Narak is a skeleton necromancer, and he wears body armor made of bones along with a cloak and a hood, which all looks super awesome, although maybe it might not necessarily fly on the Chinese server because of the skulls, but they could definitely just change the thing a little bit I guess. He's really dark and evil looking, he's got like a large skeleton creature wrapped around him that looks like this saber toothed serpent of some kind. Yang Chan Li says that Narak is known for his ability to convert animals into controllable skeleton pets, which might suggest that he could maybe turn jungle monsters into his own offensive minions, which is potentially a super cool idea. As well as attacking enemies with his pets, he can strengthen their bones to make them stronger alongside his own suit of bone armor, which actually makes him quite tanky. Nerak is meant to be a mage with high defense who manipulates his minions rather than attacking directly using his own magic spells. 
Now, Riot hasn't entirely explored pet-based champions all that much so far, but being able to summon skeletons or create new pets out of jungle monsters could be a super sick way to do it, although maybe a little bit too complicated since that jungle camp might not be able to respond until the pets have died off, but it's definitely something that could be super cool and super fun to play with. Now the last fan concept that we're taking a look at today is one that some of you guys might have actually known about already because it's a little bit old and a while back it kind of had a little bit of popularity and it was actually rumored to have possibly been an inspiration to the design of Kindred, although rioters claimed that they didn't take fan concept material for that champion specifically and they'd kind of been designing Kindred before this post actually made public so that rumors have kind of been debunked, but the champion goes by the name of Dama, the Force of Balance, and the concept is by Raccoon Jesus. So this concept is focused on sort of like a yin and yang concept, you know, the duality between light and dark. Da and Ma are actually two champions, just like Kindred actually, which are, you know, little cute floating creatures that would fly around together, attacking together, and sometimes wrapping around each other to combine their abilities. Now, Raccoon Jesus didn't necessarily give any ability details, but some of the concept art shows some really awesome ideas for animations at least, or potential abilities. You know, stuff like firing laser beams, shielding each other from damage, and potentially even connecting together to attack in sort of like some kind of Dragon Ball Z wombo combo effect or something like that. For example, you know, maybe they link up their tails and they swing each other as a melee attack or twist around like a tornado and deal damage in an area of effect. Dama was probably designed to be as like a squishy mage character rather than more of like a jungling ADC like Kindred, but it's a really awesome take on the yin yang sort of concept. And if Riot ever decides to toy with dual champions again in the future, making a mage would be seriously cool, like a really cool way to do it because you could maybe have them like shape shifting from one form to the other or switching between forms, using different attacks or versions of abilities, some really awesome stuff. It's kind of a shame that Dama wasn't entirely a true influence on Kindred, since that would really have motivated a lot of people to try their own hand at suggesting champion designs to Riot, but there's definitely still a chance that they might use an idea like this in the future, and Dama, there's no doubt, it was a fantastic piece of work. Either way though, that's just about going to wrap up our coverage for some of the awesome, more awesome fan champion concepts that I saw from the community. Definitely make sure to check out all the links in the description to support these super talented and hardworking designers that made the concepts that we showcased in this video. And as well, definitely let us know in the comment section below which one was your favorite. Either way, it looks like that's going to be it for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe if you want. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.